hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is alicia if you're new here and if you're already a subscriber welcome back so happy monday you guys today is january the 9th and today is my very first day back teaching if you guys don't know i am a college professor i teach bachelor level social work students um so today is the first day of the spring semester so i definitely wanted to bring you guys with me and kind of just let you see like what a day in the life of a college professor looks like okay so that's what this video is going to be about so make sure you guys watch all the way into the end um so yes so right now it is i don't even know where my phone is it is 11 a.m i don't have to teach until 1 p.m so i am getting ready because it's the first day so i need to be on campus early um i need to like go to my office like you know just do little stuff right um so i'm already getting dressed i already took my curlers out i had some flexi rods in i took those out so makeup wise the only thing i did was i filled in my eyebrows a little bit i put on mascara i have some blush some highlight a little concealer under my eyes but other than that that is it i didn't want to go with any heavy makeup routine not even a light b i just wanted to put something on my face to make me look more awake um so yes and we're doing go jewelry today and i'm also going to let you guys see my outfit what i picked out for the first day um all that good stuff you guys but you guys why am i super nervous like what i don't know i don't know i'm nervous i could barely sleep last night and i like jumped up i didn't even set my alarm i forgot like i was just so nervous last night that i like fell asleep didn't even set my alarm but my adrenaline woke me up and i was like what time is it i gotta teach right and i woke up at like 9 30 10 a.m it was fine but it was funny but yes i'm super excited for this semester and i'm trying to just like speak positive affirmations over myself and just tell myself i'll do great my students are going to learn so much from me i'm going to learn so much from them and yeah because this semester I'm teaching two classes I'm teaching four classes two of them are the same class so one of them so I have two face-to-face -face classes two online classes so today is Monday so I teach a social justice class you guys ah, this is my first time teaching this class this might be another reason why I'm so nervous because I haven't taught this class before um, so I'm just nervous about what it's gonna look like you guys this is a two and a half hour class it's from 1 to 3 p.m. so I've never taught this long face-to-face -face. so that's another reason why I'm nervous because I'm like wow am I gonna be able to get enough out in that long of a time but I don't know we shall see so yes I'm excited you guys so right now if you're watching and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you want to see more of this content rolling out about me teaching about social work in general just all that cool young professional stuff guys okay and make sure you connect with me on all my social media sites and let's get right into this vlog okay you guys here's first day outfit so i just went with this orange super long cardigan you guys i just have a plain black tee i have some green pants and let me see if i can get you guys to see the shoes and i just have on some brown boots super oh, yeah super just simple super cute um didn't want to do too much for today but i think it looks pretty youthful um i like to dress my age you guys i don't like to like look older than what i am so yeah but uh yeah what do you guys think drop a comment let me know if you like the first day outfit you know i could have went with the blazer and all that but you know i just wanted to keep it cool for today right right okay, you guys i am about to leave out i might grab some breakfast so you guys are just gonna ride along with me to school and see my classroom all that cool stuff you guys it's gonna be a great video today so like i said make sure you watch all the way into the end and right now if you're watching just go ahead and smash that like button for me and yeah let's go eat you guys come on okay you guys we are in the car and i just wanted to show y'all my new tumbler you guys how cute is this cup it's a pretty big size too you guys i got this from marshall's and it was ten dollars y'all this is so fire it's glitter and everything and the glitter doesn't come off on your hand so i love that and has this pink straw actually it's a it's a um what's it called like one of those titanium straws but it has a pink little rubber thingy at the top and i just love it y'all and it keeps my water cold and everything else. I'm going to be so cute in my classroom drinking my water. <laughs> okay, but no, you guys. I think I'm going to run to Panera because it's right by my house. And Panera never has a line. And I'm just going to get me a sandwich and hurry up and get to campus, you guys. So, yeah. Um, it's 1140. Like I said, class starts at 1. So, we're making good timing, you know. So, yeah. Let's go to Panera, you guys, and get something to eat. 
Okay, you guys, I had to go with Burger King because Panera Bread was packed, but it is lunchtime. I totally forgot. So, yeah, but nobody had a line. I mean, Burger King did not have a line. So, I just went real quick and got me a little $5 meal because I didn't really want no, like, burger fast food so but i had to get something on my stomach because i didn't eat um so you guys i'm on campus as you can see i just parked in the parking lot so you guys i'm nervous oh my gosh let me let me get out this car come on y'all let's get out this car let's go <laughs> Okay, what's up you guys? I am back in my office as you guys can see from teaching and class went well you guys. Uh, my Monday class is from 1 to 3.30 p.m. you guys. It is a very long class and let me tell you at some point in the class I was like whew I'm running out of things to say because I just naturally talk fast um, so that is something I need to work on. It's just like slowing down right um so what i was noticing that i was doing like during class was i was like asking more questions wanting them to participate more right not so much me just talk 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 because who wants to hear that right um so yes so there's some things that i need to improve on that i saw from today for myself for next class which next monday is mlk day so we won't even have class next class so i won't see them again for two weeks um so yeah so right now i am just back in my office working on the computer i have some stuff that i have to do um for preparation for tomorrow's class because i teach my other class i teach a general practice class on tuesdays and it's also from 1 to 3 30 you guys so yes but at least i get my um like face-to-face -face classes out of the way for the week so i only teach on mondays and tuesdays so i get the rest of the week <laughs> All right, um, but like I said, I do teach also two online classes. Um, today's conversation in class was really good. Um, we just kind of dived right into it. It's a social justice class, so we dive right into racism, oppression, social justice, diversity, right? Um, really looking at self-awareness, talking about implicit biases, right? We just, we didn't hold back and I love that. I love that for my students. I love that my students were so comfortable and they were just engaged and they were talking and yeah so so right now i am just gonna look at my big calendar my desk calendar that i have and i'm gonna fill it out so that i don't miss any important dates um any important meetings that i have i like to fill this out i also keep a calendar like through my email through outlook um so i'll update that calendar um it's a lot that this spring semester is going to consist of so i need to make sure that i stay organized okay um i'm excited though you guys i am i'm super excited um and i just pray that we have a great semester a safe semester um and yeah that it's meaningful for me and also for my students um but did you guys like the classroom um only 15 students in this class that i had today only oh no only 16 that's it so a small class my class last semester that i taught oh my gosh it was big i had like 26 
seven students almost 30 students you guys so being that this is a much more smaller intimate class i feel um i kind of puts a little bit more pressure because it's like whoa you know like it put I feel like it even puts more pressure on the students because they like need to talk and engage, right? They don't have like 15 other students who have the possibility of speaking up. So yeah, so even for me as a teacher, like um, I'm like challenged to call on everyone in the classroom because I can because it's only 15 of them, right? But I think that's a great thing because now it gets them more involved versus being in the classroom, almost 30 students where they can kind of like sneak in the back and not talk, right? Like, uh-uh gotta talk i know your name right um so yeah i'm definitely trying to learn names um because i want it i want my classroom to be like my teacher philosophy is that i'm on this learning journey with them and in order to do that i need to be personable i need to like learn their names right because i'm gonna be here teaching for a while for many years so um i want to have a relationship with my students and you know i might teach them in another class right so it's just very valuable for me to learn them as a person learn their names um kind of learn about their social work journey so far what they plan to do what they want to do when they graduate all that good stuff so yeah do you guys want to see the book for this semester for my social justice class look you guys it's thick right <laughs> but honestly it's an easy read um it's not too bad um it looks bad just because it's big but i promise it's not it's very easy to read and honestly it's it's like little experts little um essays in this book so yeah then of course i have my weekly planner um i'm definitely going to be using this a lot um look y'all i still haven't used the stickers i need to take these stickers and actually use them so we're in january so i need to start filling out my planner i just like taking my planner with me to class that way if it's anything that i need to write down really quick i can just write it in my planner um and i need to put some lotion on y'all my hands is getting ashy it's so cold outside y'all listen i keep me a bath and body works champagne toast in the office you gotta gotta keep like some smell good stuff in your office because you just never know your hands might get ashy you know you might need a little smell spruce up like oh yeah this smells good and y'all i need to go back to dollar tree and get me some more snacks for my office this is all the word that i have left this is from last semester they're almost gone and i have this starburst i don't even eat candy y'all um, so yeah, and I don't have any more chips or anything to snack on. So I need to go back to Dollar Tree and get all that stuff. And I usually just keep them up here in my cabinet so I have stuff to snack on. First day back on campus, you know I had to get some insomnia cookies. Stop it. Okay, you guys, so let me show y'all. It is dark outside. It is only 6.06 .06 p.m. and it is dark and I need to leave because it's just not safe for me to be here when it's dark. Um, I still was doing a lot of work. I kind of got lost in the work that I was doing, but I got to go home um, just because my safety, you know, you don't want to be walking on campus too late without like a peer or someone walking with you. Um, so yes, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing my first day as much as I enjoy filming it. And don't worry, I will bring you guys back to to school with me on more videos so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know and yeah subscribe to my channel because we have some more videos coming okay all right thanks for watching you guys peace